So man, the Wolf of Charles Street podcast, you feel me? This is what I want to do. I want to jump right into the uh the classic scene review. I'm gonna get that out of the way. We're gonna jump right into that. So uh it's coming from Training Day, another classic movie, you feel me? Starring Denzel. Let's get right into it. You guys are fucking insane. All right, I'll go back to the valley. I'll cut parking tickets, you know? Oh. <laughs> it can't be like this. It is this way, man. I'm sorry I exposed you to it, but it is. It's ugly, but it's necessary. I became a cop to put away drug dealers, the poisoners, the criminals, not to be one. You sound just like me. And I know what you're going through. I know what you're feeling. You're scared. I'm not scared. Yes, you Terrified everybody goes through that the first time I went through it. The sooner you can match what's in your head with what's going on in the real world, the better you're gonna feel. In this business, you gotta have a little dirt on you. Now I just wanna point out certain things he was saying to uh, to yo. You feel me? First of all, you notice how he was like, at the end, he was like, in this business, you feel me? So, he ain't say like, you know, like, this, this, this job, this job, or this, this, this field that I'm in where I'm protecting the community and serving the community, because that's what police are, you feel me? They're civil servants. Well, at least that's what they say, but you notice how he says, you feel me, in this business. So y'all gotta understand, man, that shit is ran like a business. It's not really, it's not really ran to really, you know, serve and protect, you feel me? And if they is serving and protecting, they, they serving and protecting businesses, you feel me? Just like when stuff started, when they started riding out here in Baltimore, the Freddie Gay Great Rides, you feel me? Like, you know this, like, they protected downtown way more than they protected the uh, you know the businesses in the hoods and you know you feel me so you gotta understand y'all got y'all gotta realize and especially the other part where he said once you match what's in your mind with what's reality i'm telling you you do feel better you feel me you do learn how to maneuver a little bit better in this world like like a nigga that never left his hood, you feel me? Like his reality is different than my reality. His reality is limited to, you know, these blocks, you know, the a certain square radius. You feel me? Like I've been out of this country, you feel me? I done seen different places, different people, different cultures. So my reality is different than the average nigga that don't go no fucking way. And the same way, you feel me, with just... I mean, just anybody from a different culture, a different religion, and like, that's their reality. So that's how they going, they going to carry you because they ain't really, they ain't really taking their mind and applying it to the real, like the world. Like people be stuck in their little, their little rotation, you feel me? Their little, their little habits, their little, you know what I mean? Whatever they attach to, you feel me? If a, per a person of a certain religion, they are taught not to deal with these people, you feel me? And, you know what I mean? Like, it's certain stuff. And so they stuck in a way of thinking. And, man, he said it, man. And it's true, man. Until you get your mind and really apply it to reality, because what you see is really, you know, a perception, like, you might look like once again you might look at a police officer and think you feel me like that person is supposed to protect and serve but in reality in the reality like they're there to protect businesses and enforce 
you feel me, codes of conduct to enforce law, law enforcement. That's what that's what they here for, you feel me? To keep the businesses in order, to keep everything going how it's supposed to go. So when y'all talk about murders and violence, you gotta understand like these people are there to make sure what is going on goes on at a certain rate or you feel me? So when y'all say how the violence gonna stop this, that, and the third, <laughs> y'all gotta understand like it's being controlled. Like <laughs> this is a controlled environment. As as wild as wild as it may seem, it's really a controlled environment. So we gotta really step out of this environment, step out of our thinking, the stuff that we was taught. You feel me? And just really, yo, get to know, get to know the world. If you never been out of Baltimore, you feel me? Start by, I hey man, going out to the county. You feel me? Then start like, you know, going to another state, hey and man. Then you going to start. Like y'all gotta understand, we bunched up in these cities. You start heading west and you know Midwest, and it's so much space and land and just fresh air and shit just out here. You feel me? Right on the same land we standing at now. Like, don't be fooled because somebody came and drew lines on the map and said, "Well, this is a state and this is a state." And now we got fifty states. You, you feel me? You think that it's a different? land like no nah, like it's the same land it's just lines that's drawn on a map and you now in your mind you thinking it's 50 states no nah, this is one land so if i'm standing here in baltimore a motherfucker that's all the way in cali we still standing on the same land you feel me so y'all gotta understand man like all of this is really free roaming shit you feel me you just need to get out there and go see some shit you might go to fucking utah or somewhere and be like damn i like it out here let me buy some land out here you feel me you could do that that's reality you know it's people that's from other countries and all that shit that own land over here they might not even have been over here and might have never been to america but they own land over here that's the reality of this y'all like this land, bruh, you feel me? It's, it's, it's really up for grabs, you feel me? Like, it's your business. And y'all gotta understand that's the reality of things and get out of the thinking, you feel me? Like, like this where you at, this where you stuck at, oh, I'm from over west, and oh, I'm this, I'm that, oh, we from Baltimore, we ain't like these people, and but it's just tribes, bro. like, it's just tribes. If you take away, if you go back thousands of years, you feel me, like, the same land, it was the same way, it's just different tribes. They might have a different accent, a different dialect, a different, you know, language, the way they say the thing, but at the end of the day, you feel me, we all the same people. But, you know, this thinking that's been planted in us, and all that, you feel me, it just keeps us divided, and, and we really be thinking shit <laughs> is divided like that when, no, man, this is one big piece of land. Y'all just gotta get y'all mental, man, y'all gotta get y'all mental and really, really dig into reality, you feel me, like, once you do that, I'm telling you, you're gonna, you're gonna feel a lot better, I'm telling you, you're gonna learn how to maneuver, you're gonna know Kind of like what you want to do with your life, what you want to do with your future, you feel me? What you want to do with your with your bloodline, with your family line, you feel me? When y'all match that up. So, like, that's the gem I took from that, man. And y'all got to, I'm telling you, man, these movies, yeah, they be saying a lot of stuff, man. But we got to pay attention. You got to peep it. You got to really, you got to apply this shit because it's just universal law, man. Universal law, man, is like... Yo, the information is out here, you feel me? You just got to go looking for it, you feel me? You just got to read. We are miseducated people, you feel me? Like, the school system, the curriculum is, is shit, it's trash. A lot of us are just miseducated. A lot of the niggas that I know, you feel me, that was the shooters and the tough guys, 
You feel me? They most most of the time they just really uneducated. You feel me? They don't. <laughs> They they can't they can't you can't give them a bag of money and tell them count that up. You can't give them work and and be like yo it's twenty eight it's twenty eight grams and an ounce and you feel me like they don't they not educated to that so they not apply to that so what's easier for them to make money and survive is just picking up a gun and robbing and taking and becoming a shooter. But most of the time these niggas is just uneducated. You feel me? And more, all of us like I said all of us is uneducated really uneducated because. The shit we was taught, you feel me, just was is a perception, you feel me? So y'all gotta really educate yourself. I mean, and it's it's every day, you gotta do it every day. The mind is a muscle, you gotta work it out. But if you just wake up every day and do the same shit, you just be scrolling on Instagram and you know, all these platforms just consuming bullshit. We are what we consume, you feel me? So if you consume bullshit, you just gonna be a bullshit ass person. But just like, and man, when I wanted to do this, you feel me? I, I had to study it. I had to really get out there. And man, listen, man, I didn't look. <laughs> you know, as a kid, you want to do this, you want to be this, you want to be that. Yeah. And then and shit changes as you get older and shit. So I remember as a little kid, I think I wanted to be a fireman. And then as I got older, I wanted to be a lawyer. And then as I got older, I wanted to be a rapper, producer, you feel me? Then as I got more old, you feel me? I just want to be a fucking businessman. Like, I understand now, you feel me? And I see how my perception and what I wanted to be was molded by what I was taught, what I, what I saw, you feel me? Like, me, if, if I look at you know, like some of my friends that became firemen, like that's, you feel me? That's a hard job, you feel me? Like kudos to them, you feel me? But that's a hard fucking job. You putting your life on the line every day. You see some, you see some crazy shit every day. You run into the, you know, the tragedy basically. So on, on hindsight, you feel me? I probably wouldn't want to be really be that shit when I was a kid, but that's what I was kind of molded to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So you gotta understand now that I'm old and I've educated myself, man. I want I I just want to be a good businessman, and business is everything. So business is not limited to you feel me. You can find your niche or whatever. You know you got some people that just find a niche and they business, and you feel me. They they make a good living and they good. Nah, like I want to do everything. You feel me? I want to create new shit i want to be innovative like that's that's what i really am you feel me i feel like i'm i'm that i'm really that scientist you feel me like i just want to do something new because once again man like i'm not i'm not there's no excitement in my life from none of this shit that that i thought i wanted like it's really no excitement in that shit that street light shit you you think that shit exciting but yeah when you when you when your ass fucking hit the fuck up or your ass fucking lock the fuck up, yeah, it's dead somewhere, you feel me? Like that shit is not lit, you feel me? But thriving, being wealthy and being out here having your freedom moving around and shit, that's lit, bro. Doing what you want. I lit, I wake up and do what I want every day. Like Like I can't it's like, it's no way for, for me to really broadcast my litness. You feel me? Like, you gotta, that shit gotta be in you. You feel me? Like, you gotta wake up every day and be like, damn, my life is lit. You feel me? Like, that just gotta be in you. Nobody can't really give you that. So now, you gotta be honest with yourself. If you wake up every day and you like, damn, I gotta fucking work. Damn, I gotta deal with these motherfuckers. You feel me? Like, that's not lit. But... You might just post this lit shit you do on Instagram so that you paint the picture that your life lit, but you know in your fucking heart, like, this shit is not lit. So it's like, are you gonna keep that bullshit in your mind and not make it, and and, and not, and in reality, is you on some bullshit, or is you gonna take that lit, 
that lit shit that you really want and make it reality. You feel me? You got to make it reality. So then you can wake up every day and be like, yeah, I'm lit. You feel me? And what's lit to you might not be lit to the next person. So once again, y'all got to tap into yourself. You feel me? Everybody want to run around and follow the next person thinking that I got to do what they doing to be lit. What's lit to you is not going to be lit to the next person. And so on and so on. So you got to find, yo, that lit shit, that shit isn't you, you feel me? I wake up every day. Sometimes, you feel me? I don't. Sometimes I might not even know what the fuck I want to do for the day. And to me, that's lit because I can actually sit and take a day, chill, and really tap into my mind and say, all right, what the fuck I'm going to do next? What's the next challenge? And I create this shit, you feel me? I don't follow nobody, you feel me? I don't chase after motherfuckers. Like, I be around niggas that, in my eyes, you feel me? Like, what they doing is lit, you feel me? Once again, I don't know how they personally feel, like, in, in they shoes, and they spirit, like, if they feel like they lit. But some motherfuckers I be around, I be like, damn, that shit lit they doing this, that, and the third. But at the same time, I'm a lit, I'm lit too. So I know like, yo, I got to create this shit. You feel me? Where every day you feel me? Like it's just, it's a purpose. You feel me? Even when I'm sleeping, my purpose is still rocking. You feel me? Like that's lit. So when I die, I'm going to die a happy old fucking man. Inshallah, yeah, be an old man, you feel me? Because, you know, when we young, bro, we not thinking past a certain age, bro. You not, you not even imagining you old and you feel me? You not, you not really thinking of that shit, you feel me? You young, you in the moment, you, you trying, you trying, you trying to do too much when you really just got to slow the fuck down and say, what the fuck is lit to me? You feel me? What I'm going to do with my life for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years? You feel me? Like, you got to put yourself in that position. If you put yourself in some fucked up position, a motherfucker will find something to do for you for the next 20, 30, 40. Or they might just put your ass down. You feel me? So, come on. This is... It, Yo, I'm telling you, man, it's a lot of sheep out here. We walking around. They they might be sheep in Dior and Gucci and Louis, but they sheep, bro. They followers, bro. They really just kind meat motherfuckers just, just don't know where to go, what to do, you feel me? And then you got the wolves that's feeding off of this shit, you feel me? That's taking advantage of that shit. Like... I'm going to keep it real with you, man. I don't... If you look at a wolf and you see what a wolf do, you feel me? Like, yeah, man, they basically just, you know, murder and consume, you feel me? Like, and they, you know, it's to preserve they, they line, you know, keep they pack strong. So, come on, we, I mean, we, we are part of this animal kingdom, y'all, and that's what other humans do, you feel me? They... Come on, look at look at the Holocaust and all this other shit, man. Like, that's what they do, bro. To keep they line strong, to keep they pack strong, they're going to murder and destroy the weaker, man. So it's, a, it's very imperative that you start to think like a wolf and move like a wolf because you will be consumed. You will be used. You will be destroyed. You feel me? And that's the reality of things, y'all. Like, y'all see all this war and shit going on. You feel me? That's not fake. It's real. <laughs> you feel me? But you all the way over here living in relative peace. You feel me? Ain't nobody um invading the land and all that. You feel me? Like, but, bro, these niggas is beefing on a world scale. Man. Ain't no telling if China decide to pull up. You feel me? Pull up on the fucking shores. Y'all forgot about Pearl Harbor? Like, the Japanese, come on. Reality is that this is what's happening, you feel me, around us. You got the United States government giving billions, 
billions of dollars in aid to Ukraine. Not just Ukraine, man. A whole bunch of hosts of other fucking countries giving billions of dollars, man. Where y'all think that fucking money coming from? You think you just getting up and going to work to feed your kids? Do you really think that's reality? You think you're going to work to pay bills? To, to, to go on vacations and have the newest iPhone? You think that's what you're going to work for? It's not reality, y'all. Reality is you going to work to pay these other fucking countries, bruh. As long as you can pay your motherfucker off and keep your motherfucker under your motherfucking wing. Come on. Listen, y'all. Come on, man. All you got to do is, yo, we do this shit on a small scale. You feel me? We do this shit on a small scale. You got to think bigger. You got to really look at reality. This is a whole world. You feel me? Like, it's not just... Amen? You going to work to 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 keep... Because you're getting taxed like a motherfucker. You're getting taxed everything. I go buy some Dutchess, man. Like, yeah, the pack might say two for 99 cents on the Dutchess or something. But I'm not going to pay a dollar, bro. I'm going to get taxed and taxed and taxed. By the time I buy the Dutchess, I'm going to pay the dollar extra in taxes. You feel me? I might have to go use the ATM. I'm gonna get taxed on that. You feel me? And then Cash App gonna tax me that. Then the bet. You feel me? Yo, all that little little thing, little taxes we ignore. You think that's cool? You feel me? Like, come on. That's that's all that extra money that they uh, get to these other countries. Like, yeah, y'all stay in line. You feel me? Like, yeah. You feel me? It's like. They buying loyalty off our back. Like, they already conquered this land. You feel me? They already got this shit rolling. We so fucking stupid and shit. We thinking we, yeah, man. We just working to make a living. And you feel me? Like, come on, man. (laughs) Y'all working to pay for the shit that's going on everywhere else, man. Why They don't give a fuck about what's going on here. They got billions to give to all these other countries. They got billions to get to, to us, bro. The people that's impoverished. Billions to get to the homeless. Billions to get to motherfuckers that just want to start a, start a business up and all that. They got it, y'all. As long as you go to work every day, they got it to use it. So as long as you're a worker, you're never going to get the big pie, the big piece of this shit, you feel me? Once you turn yourself into a business and start moving like that, now you could scale. Now you could, man, you could charge what you want. You feel me? You could basically, man, you dip into the the pot of money that basically all the everybody is fucking making. You feel me? Like y'all gotta understand. Once again, money ain't nothing but like an IOU. You feel me? So. As long as you working, you feel me, you you keeping shit going. You got you got farmers that farm, you got it's it's yo, the English language is tricky, you feel me? So I gotta be careful how I use my words because I wanna I really wanna get the message over the people, you feel me, but as long as you working, you feel me. You 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 keeping the you keeping this shit going. You feel me. Simple as that. Let me put it like that. As long as you working, you going to work. You keeping the system going. So just imagine. Imagine just one day. All right, bye. Be on some. Listen, man. Yo, let's just take another day off. Everybody just take another fucking day off and shit, you feel me? We ain't going to work today. And if everybody do, say the whole, say the whole community just be like, yo, the whole city be like, yo, we ain't going to work today. What y'all, what y'all think? What, what, 
What y'all think going You think they going to say, um, all y'all fired? Nah, they going to say, damn, do, do y'all need an extra day? Like, <clears throat> instead of y'all two-day weekend, do y'all need an extra day? Do y'all need a three-day weekend? Because, um, we got, we got, we got to uh, get these, get these businesses back rolling. You feel me? Like, we got to negotiate something now. Which I think unions are for, you feel me? Why y'all think the mob was so was so big, you feel me? Cause they control their people, you feel me? They control the millions of jobs and this that, you feel me? Like, so once they say, look, we shutting this shit down, now these big businesses, these corporations gotta come and negotiate. They gotta come meet you at the table. They gotta say, listen. We need y'all. So, like, what do we have to do? You feel me? But if the average motherfucker is not thinking like that, and you only got a certain amount of motherfuckers that's thinking like that, the wolves are gonna, they gonna, they gonna run this shit. They gonna be good. They gonna be good. They family gonna be good. You feel me? They pack straight. You feel me? While, you know, the sheep just waiting for the leader. You feel me? Like, come on, man. And then y'all gotta think about the stuff we was taught religiously, you feel me? Like, you was taught to be 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 a sheep, what are you, you feel me? You was taught to follow, you feel me? Why you think you taught to do something that's harming you, you feel me? Come on, man. Y'all gotta check in with reality, and I know y'all feel it. I know y'all feel it. When y'all wake up, y'all don't, y'all don't wanna do that shit. Y'all, you, every human is born with free will, man. Why why is your existence contingent on you going to a, jo a job to work? You feel me? Like so you saying if I don't go to work, I can't eat? That don't even make sense. I go up I go up around my old neighborhood, you feel me? Like they got gardens gardens and shit, you feel me? Like, yeah, they they, they, they feed their, their own community. They give away free vegetables, bop 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 bop. So if they choose not to go to work, they don't have to go to the grocery store to go buy no fucking groceries and shit. They go straight to the garden and shit. Like, it's reality right in front of us, y'all. Like, what the fuck? It's reality. The reality is, like, you don't... You can grow your own shit, man. Just get some fucking land, man. And they ain't gotta be all the way in the fucking boonies somewhere. Motherfucker got gardens right in the fucking hood. Because it's the same land, y'all. Like... <laughs> the fuck the city the county beverly hills all that shit you feel me like man edit that shit i know that shit gonna be shaking but all the same land y'all that's reality man so look man once again man this is about being wolves man and i'm giving y'all the keys i'm giving y'all yeah, man i'm giving y'all reality man I'm not gonna sit here and give y'all no fake shit, you feel me? Cause that's what all I was giving, you feel me? I was giving fake shit. But this platform is the tap into them motherfuckers that yeah, that really want really wanna turn up.